Javante Davis, Devin Haney being built up for the summertime of 2024. Is this the best fight in boxing? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So the potential matchup between Devin the Dream Haney and Javante Tank Davis is being built up to go down in the summer of 2024. I just want to give my 554 nickels on whether this is the best fight in boxing for anybody now, Bob Arum, Hall of Fame promoter, the legendary man himself, just jumped out the window of the airplane at 30,000 feet to land on his head with some fake news that the people can't use. Bob is not privy of any numbers. Don't let Bob and his narratives be one more roadblock in front of the best fight in boxing. There's no place else for Tank to hide or run. No more narratives can be created. The time's up. It's now. All right, y'all. So... Tank Davis, Devin Haney, the best fight in boxing. What's going down with this fight? Well, basically there's some rumors going around. I don't know how true it is, but definitely some rumors floating that this fight is going to take place in 2024, specifically the summertime of 2024. I think it's happening in September. I think between July, August, September. Around there, I think the fight going. Well, we've seen what both fighters can do. The hype around both fighters, pay review will be crazy. I think they both can do some crazy numbers. If you can get Bud and Spence, what they make twenty five a piece, they said, or something yeah, like that. Both yeah, if you can, you can, you can damn near do the same thing with them too. I try not to get into all of that because I don't really know. I, it'd be a lot of stuff you hear. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it G. I'm gonna keep it all the way G. I think these dudes be talking to each other. I think they low key homies, not homies like. You know, they go hang with each other, but you, yeah, we gotta make this happen. And yeah, we gonna get this money. Uh -huh. Now, I know that um, Javante Davis is supposed to have a fight in March, I believe. It's supposed to be the first featured bout on PBC Amazon. So he's gonna be the first one to get the shine of the PBC Amazon machine to see how it works. Now, we don't know how that's gonna turn out, and we don't know who he's gonna fight just yet. But I have seen some reports it might be Anoya. I think he's supposed to be moving up. I, I know I'm not saying his name right, but I do believe it's supposed to be Anoya. And then you got Devin Haney and his next fight. And a lot of people are saying that his next fight is actually going to be Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia seems to be the punching bag for the stars. <laughs> What's going on here? Somebody set tripping up in here? You set tripping? Uh, you know, for lack of a better word, but you know, I don't see Ryan Garcia beating Devin Haney, and I don't understand why they would put him in with Devin Haney. Uh, I guess dare to be great, right? You know, you got to dare to be great in this sport, and you got to commend Ryan Garcia for at least trying. You know, whether he can beat those guys, you know, we saw what happened in the Javante fight. I think it's going to be pretty similar in the Devin fight. Now, Devin doesn't have the power that Javante has, but definitely has the skills to take apart a guy like Ryan Garcia. And you ain't nothing but a punk, and you about to get knocked out. Oh, not in front of my feet. So, I don't know when that fight's going to take place, but if Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, let's say they fight after Javante Davis, you know, or right before Javante Davis, maybe, um, April, you know, sometime in that in that time frame, maybe in May, then that means that the Javante Davis Devin Haney fight could actually take place in September, you know, maybe August, maybe September of 2024, maybe a little bit later than that, but that would give it just enough time in between both of those fights. Say Javante Davis fights in March, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney end up fighting in May, you know, somewhere around that time frame. That would give three, maybe four months in between if y'all fought in, in mid-September or October or somewhere around that, that time frame. So I think it could be possible and, you know, it would be huge paydays for both. 
you know, we we saw what the Javante Ryan Garcia fight did. did. Did really big numbers. Even if the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight did half of that, and the Javante Davis and Noya fight does somewhere around the same thing that the Ryan Garcia Javante Davis fight did, and then those two guys turn around and fight each other, we're talking about those guys making somewhere around sixty million dollars a piece in one. Year. Damn, damn, damn. So if they got to fight both twice in one year, they're looking at somewhere around $60 million payouts for both of those guys. So it could be a huge year in boxing for Javante Davis and Devin Haney if they're able to pull it off. Now, I'm not saying that Anoy is a pushover, undefeated, great fighter. Unfortunately, I haven't got to see him fight live. Every time I try to watch him live, you know, he's all the way on the other side of the world. So the times, they usually don't match up. And I end up having to watch the highlights. But the uh, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight, the Javante Davis, and Noya fight, if possible, could definitely be a huge setup for Devin Haney, Javante Davis at the end of the summer of 2024, which would be huge for boxing. Now... There are other super fights being touted and, and, and trying to come together. We got the Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford rematch. We don't know what's going to happen with this guy right here, Jerron Boots Ennis, and his future in 2024. We just know that he's the next guy up, but he just has to find a credible opponent to get in the ring with. Now, the question is, is this the best fight in boxing? You know, when you got guys like Boots Ennis out there, you got guys like Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence out there. You got the Deontay Wilder fight coming up. You got the Tyson Furies and Anthony Joshua's of the world. Who has the best fight in boxing? Is it the Javante Davis, Devin Haney? Is it a possible Terrence Crawford, Ryan Ennis fight? Is it, you know, a, a, a Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, or Tyson Fury? Deontay Wilder for the 55th time. I'm not a squabbler like that. I fight. My knuckles is, is, is swollen every time. Been working out, getting better with him. I am a nifty nickel, real chipper from 55th Street. You know, we just don't know. But I do think that if Devin Haney and Javante Davis get into the ring with one another, it's going to be one of the biggest fights of the year. And because both of those guys are undefeated, it's going to be set up similar to the Terrence Crawford Earl Spence fight to where it's going to be touted as a super fight. A lot of people are going to tune in. Now, I know it didn't do as good as numbers as the Ryan Garcia Javante Davis fight did, but it did good enough numbers to be touted as one of the biggest fights of the year. So even if Javante Davis and Devin Haney only do you know, 75% of what that Ryan Garcia fight did, it still would be the biggest fight in the year of boxing, you know. So I think it's potentially one of the biggest. We just got to see how the scheduling is going to play out when it comes to the sport of boxing in 2024. I think Boots has the potential to have some of the biggest fights depending on who he can get in the ring with. But when it comes to this fight, you know, even when you compare it to the Earl Spence rematch, we don't know how Earl Spence is going to come back to the ring, whether he's going to be 100%, 90%, or 150% of what he was in the original fight. So there's a lot of potential for this year to turn out to be an amazing year of boxing. But if we're just talking about the Devin Haney, Javante Davis fight, and it ends in a knockout, you better believe it's going to be one of the best fights of the year. You and I have to let the man know is we are peaceful people. We are loving people. We love everybody who loves us. But we don't love anybody who doesn't love us. We're nonviolent with people who are nonviolent with us. But we are not nonviolent with anyone who is violent with us. Once those intentions are made known, we can get to the nitty gritty of the problem and then we can correct the problem yeah that like button for me share 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 subscribe 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 holler at me down in the comment section below if you want to be a part of this channel feature your channel or a product hit my gmail because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com we are out of here
I need a chick that's down the ride. I had one that claimed CK like Calvin Klein. So she hate when I wear blue. She like keys. I ain't trying to share you, but I'm prepared to. I had a West End chick. She the opposite. See me in my Louisville jersey, get the knocking in. She stay around to see how fat a player pockets get. Yeah, they stick around even though I get around. The fact I'm a player hard to get around. Had a rich girl chilling out in Middletown. Had a Iroquois chick had to sit her down. Cause she kept going to the club getting wild. Had a new bird girl, but she wasn't live. But she had a ride and she let her play a drive. Had a valley girl, had to put her on the side. Told her we could set her down when I'm thinking I had bitches in every hood. Uh, keep it tight, you know I'll be right I back. Got bitches in every hood. I keep it real, I ain't trying to make I wish that they understood. Uh, uh, just chill, uh, maybe get I it on. I got bitches in every hood. Uh, uh, it's the most keys in the world. I had a girl out in Prospect. She always tell me money ain't an object. I left alone for my girl in the projects. She always tell me keys you can cop it. You can't knock it. Cause she beautiful. Her black Lucy Lou get her nails done. Put my name on the cuticles. See your style in the bow on the usual. Might take her to the mall in the movies too. Uh, but after that, don't try me. I got a sugar mama chilling out in Shively. And if I act Wisely, she provided me, so it evens out. Gotta speak about my Indiana girls, can't leave them out. Out in J City, looking way pretty, through thick and thin. I hope they stay with me, but they probably won't, cause I got them other things with me. Bitches in every hood. Uh, I keep it tight, you know I'll be right I back. Got bitches in every hood. I keep it real, I ain't trying to make Yeah.